Let's get to the leaked UN report on how many UN staff Israel is murdering. <laughs> like, I don't, the senses I'm saying, I never thought I'd be saying. And I'm not easily shocked. Like, I'm a fairly cynical person. And yet, I never thought I'd be like, hey, uh, let's let's talk about this report of how many UN staff Israel is murdering. What? There's no other country that can just walk around murdering UN staff and everybody's like, mm, I don't know. Is it is it anti-Semitic to say that they murdered the UN staff? Is it a little? Is it? A leaked UN report is the Israeli war has killed 366 UN staff and family members. Israel's assault on Gaza has killed at least 172 dependents of UN staff by the end of June, according to a confidential UN report obtained by a drop site, in addition to 195 staff members. 158 dependents of staff for UNRWA, or the UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, have been killed. When you add all that up, 366 staff and uh, family members. So yeah, Israel has murdered 366 UN staff. And just to repeat, if there were staff and family, if there were any other country doing this, it wouldn't even be like a discussion about, is this, uh, what do we, like, I don't know, we, is this okay? Is it okay to just walk around murdering UN staff? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, is I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, and here is, I'm just going to read the cor- quote rather than play the clip, but this is a Jewish American doctor who went over to, went over to Gaza, uh, to help as a doctor. And when he came back, he said, all of the disasters I've seen combined, 40 mission trips I've been on, 30 years, ground zero, earthquakes, all of that combined doesn't equal equal the level of carnage I saw against civilians in just my first week in Gaza. The reporter then asked, is it mostly children? The doctor said almost exclusively. I'm going to go through that again. This guy has been a doctor in disasters. He's shown up at disasters around the world. He's been on 30 he's been on 40 mission trips. He's been doing this for 30 years. He's gone to earthquakes. He was at ground zero uh 9/11. All of that combined, he said, doesn't equal the le- level of carnage he saw in one week in Gaza on civilians. And then he was asked whether it was mostly children and he said almost exclusively children. And anyone needs a reminder of the 40,000, and we'll ignore the fam- the death by famine, death by starvation, uh, death by disease, 160,000 for a second. Of the 40,000 that Israel has killed since October 7, 70% have been women and children. You know, sometimes people say women and children, and then people go, well, wh- why are you uh, separating women out as a separate thing? Uh, why not? Why not? Why not men? You know, well, because in this case, it actually matters to say women and children because women are absolutely like it can't even be argued. They're absolutely not militants. So when you say women and children, you're saying not even a doubt, non-militants. Now, with the men, most of them that have been killed, that other 30 percent, most of them that have been killed are in, are, are innocent civilians. Uh, there are some that are Hamas militants. And you can, you're welcome to get into a debate as to whether Hamas militants are legit uh, targets or not uh, as Israel commits this genocide. But the reason you say women and children is because it is clear that those, all women and children are not militants. At this level of carnage, honestly, it's unprecedented in recent decades in terms of percentages. I don't mean, you know, there may be other areas where this many have been murdered, but uh, in terms of percentage of children, like in modern warfare, the averages are somewhere between four and eight percent children killed in modern warfare. In Gaza, it's 43, 45 percent. And they've been doing this for nine months, nine months of genocide, 294 days of genocide. And, you know, I don't want to say the world's not standing up because the world, many around the world have been standing up in so many ways and have been fighting back in so many ways. But it, obviously, it's the the only time the only way this is going to stop is going to be governments, and so it's going to take you know 
Arab governments, it's going to take the obviously the U.S. government, but we can see that the U.S. government ain't doing shit. They're giving standing applause to butchers, uh, to, to, to the leader of this massacre.